It has been 50 plus years since the death of Marilyn Monroe, but as I mentioned earlier, there is still so much mystery surrounding her death. This morning, we're finding out some answers as to who the real Marilyn Monroe was. Now, Nancy, why did you decide that it was so important for you to release the biography of Marilyn Monroe? Because um, people have the wrong image, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they have a right to know mm -hmm. the true story, and I think that people really would like to know, although they kind of reject it because they didn't know all along. But um, I think that for my mother, I think that people should know her real story. Mm -hmm. I think she deserves that. Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You know, she was a very nice person from a very nice family. And um, what's so terrible? Right. And she went through so many hard difficulties, Nancy. I mean, she had a lot of people who who didn't like her. She was hated by oh, people. Very well hated, very mm -hmm. much hated. And you mentioned earlier that she was kind of being portrayed as, as not a smart woman. And yeah. That, that's not the case according no, to you. No, she suffered a lot. Mm -hmm. She suffered a lot. Um, it was sexual discrimination, I suppose, um, because she was so beautiful. And, and She wasn't even that beautiful. I mean, she was beautiful. Of course she was beautiful, but you know, she had two personas, you know, she'd put on an act. The Marilyn Monroe was an act. She was a very simple, plain woman. Mm -hmm. You know, very pretty, but uh, simple, mm -hmm. plain, um, not particularly glamorous, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, she'd put it on, you know. People have seen her uh, walking down the street and uh, all of a sudden she'd just put on Marilyn Monroe, you know. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, they'd be shocked because mm -hmm. it would be some simple lady, you know, mm -hmm. some pretty blonde. And then all of a sudden she'd be Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. And she knew how to do that, to turn it on and off. Mm -hmm. But um, it was just that it was taken to her death, you know. And uh, she wasn't allowed to be a human. She had to be this image. Uh, and she worked with contracts in the Screen Actors Guild and uh, she was very instrumental in uh, rights for actors, you know, because they were treated rather inhumanly, very unhumanly. Certainly she was. Mm -hmm. And um, she did a lot of work towards that. Mm -hmm. um, she was interested in unions, like most Italians, I suppose. <laughs> there was that Italian in her. Now, Nancy, you just brought up something about her death. Now, there's so much controversy surrounding her death. You say in her biography, Nancy, that you believe your mother was ma murdered. I do. I'd rather it wasn't so, but um, there isn't any other conclusion uh, to come to when you really look into the story. Uh, she didn't take drugs. Mm -hmm. that, and that was a misconception, Nancy. <laughs> because you, you read, when, when you read articles about Marilyn, a lot of them state that she was big into prescription drugs, sleeping pills, all of that. Anyone who really knew her that I've spoken to or has really known her she didn't take drugs, and I don't rem remember ever seeing her all messed up on drugs or drink or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So you she just didn't do it. So you just believe she was murdered, but it was covered up then, or or well, what's sure. your story? Yeah, yeah it was uh, horribly. I, I believe it was Robert Kennedy who was the Attorney General of the United States at the time. And there are people who believe that story, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there were people who saw him come to the house that day and uh, say that he was, she was dead in the afternoon. And I, I think it was true. And it wasn't just about um, a sexual scandal, either. It wasn't that she was going... I don't even know if she did uh, have affairs with uh, John Kennedy or... 
She, I know she knew them, but that was only because she had the misfortune to buy that house. Mm -hmm. And she knew them in New York as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think she knew about... Um, I, I don't have any proof of this, but there are other people who know this. Her, the plans of the Kennedys to start the incidents in uh, Vietnam for uh, personal profit. It was his father. It wasn't John himself or Robert himself, but uh, their father, Joe Kennedy, was not a very nice man, it seems. Mm -hmm. and uh, not very nice is an understatement and he was starting up that war for personal profit personal profit mm -hmm. personal profit right. and I think she knew that I'm sure she knew that and I have reason to believe she knew that and it's in the book mm -hmm. and um, she was going to expose that and that's why they killed her mm -hmm. And it was stopped. And how old were you at the time that she was murdered? Well, I hate to say it because mm -hmm. I have to reveal my age, <laughs> but uh, I was 15. You were 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you remember that time, of course. I don't remember actually when I he ever heard that she was dead. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. It was that traumatic and mm -hmm. shocking. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget, I would know that she never took drugs. Mm -hmm. Well, Nancy, all of this is revealed in the biography. It's not just about her life, but it's also about the death. People can pick up a copy of the book right here in Key West if they'd like, can't they, Nancy? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at um, uh, the Little Room mm -hmm. on Duval, the jazz club. And Fran is going to display them mm -hmm. and sell signed copies for me. He's a very nice person. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the, it's already at the library. I gave it to, I donated a copy to the library for people who want to read it, to the Key West Library. And the bookshop, the Island Bookshop, will carry, will order them for you, or maybe even have them for you mm -hmm. if you go in there. But Fran has a discount and signed copies. Great. Great. And, uh, and you can also check out Nancy's website. You can just check it out on the bottom of the screen. And Nancy, before we go, there's a photo on the website that grabbed my attention immediately. And it was of you, your mother, Elizabeth Taylor, Frank Sinatra. Where was this photo taken? At the Waldorf Astoria, the Starlight Roof. Mm -hmm. And um, Frank Sinatra performed there every uh, nightly. And my mother lived there sometimes. So I would go there after classes. And um, I don't know why I was there that night particularly. And Frank Sinatra Jr. is in the photo as well, and mm -hmm. Aristotle Onassis. Mm -hmm. All those people and, uh, well, some, oh, what's his name? Edward of England, you know, the um, king who gave up the throne for uh, Wallace Simpson. Mm -hmm. And all those people lived at the Waldorf and, uh, I guess I would go there, mm -hmm. and my mother lived there, and I just knew these people weren't important to me, you know, not particularly. I didn't know they were famous or anything. Right, right. I was more impressed with the doorman and the waiters and <laughs> the people that kids know, you know. Isn't that something? Well, your mother lived a very, very interesting life, and you can read all about it in the biography of Marilyn Monroe. Nancy, thank you for being on this morning, sharing, thank you. sharing some secrets with us. Thank <laughs> you so much. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.